Welcome back everybody. So are you looking for the next craft beer to drink? Maybe Pog by Oddside Ale is for you. Today we are going to look at Pog by Oddside Ale. Now I have had this before. I did have it at the brewery. So let's go ahead and open it, get it into the glass and see what we get. So this is a 7% ABV and I am not sure about the IBUs because they're not on untapped. There we go. Um, there is not... Just looking. Okay, so the can says it's 5.25% and um, untapped is saying 7. So I'll be right back in a minute and I'll look at the untapped app. Okay, I'm back. So it is 5.25% as per the can and the um, Odd Side Ale um, app. Uh, this says on the can, a tropical combination of passion fruit, orange, and guava, straight from the island. So this should be a good one. Let's go ahead and get a smell, or let's do the color and stuff. Whitehead, I am getting some peaks from the bubbles in there already. About a finger and a half of head. Very, very cloudy. Um, light straw yellow, almost an orange juice color. A lot, I mean a lot of bubbles coming up. I cannot see through it. Now let's go ahead and get a smell. Yeah, citrus pine is what I'm getting. Uh, maybe some sweetness, a little bit of tartness. Um, I don't know if I said it before I got interrupted by untap being wrong. Um, there is not a drink by date or package by date on there, on the can. Yeah, citrus, pine, um, a little bit of tartness. Now, I did look at my untapped log, and all I put on it last time was citrus and pine. On this one, I am getting more tartness uh, than I guess I did the first time or straight from the uh, tap. Let's go ahead and get a drink. Yeah, passion fruit. It almost is like a lemon, lime, freshly squeezed. It's got that sourness, tartness in there um, in front. Then it goes back a little bit of pine. Then you get that sourness as it goes down. Yeah. I'm not really getting sweetness or anything like that from the guave, but yeah, that passion fruit, orange, zest, tartness, sourness is there. Uh, like I said, it, it's almost like there's a lemon-lime juice in there. Now, I don't know, again, because this there's no date on here. I think I would actually uh, give this a 4.25 out of 5. Uh, at the brewery when I had it, I gave it a 4, but I like that uh, tartness, sourness that's in there now more, I guess I should say, than I did when I had it out of the keg. Yeah, you're really getting that passion fruit in there so yeah 4.25 out of 5 so that'll wrap up this beer review until next time happy brewing thank you for watching this video thumbs up if you liked it thumbs down if you didn't leave me a comment down below to tell me what you thought about this video also don't forget to subscribe and share and hit that bell so you know when new videos are coming out. You can check out these videos over here. Also head over to 31stbrewing.com for everything beer and home brewing related.